what's up so soon thursday is gonna be halloween so chicago bears go through their halloween horrors of last year repeated again this year top of it they wear their pumpkin orange jerseys at home yesterday they lost by eddie pinero not making the field goal oh my gosh just we won't go there trubisky looked pretty good so they're in pumpkin orange but it was a repeat, like a horror movie. Jason comes again, he kills you. Not in the first movie, the second movie, a missed field goal. Not once, but twice. <sighs> okay, and the Bears defense doesn't show up. Chicago Bulls are two and one as of now. They're pretty good. They did soon to play, I think the next, I think it's tomorrow or today. They'll probably beat the next because they're winless. Chicago Blackhawks won yesterday, four to nothing or four, four to one, against the Kings. Excuse me, four to one, and they wore their purple jerseys as practice uniforms while they were practicing for the game. Um, it's for breast cancer awareness, which is pretty cool. I will post the pictures right now for the Bears and the Blackhawks wearing unusual jerseys, being uh, Halloween and also. Uh, breast cancer or cancer month so everyone has their point and doing their best that they can to make the awareness of this it affected my family my aunt uh, had breast cancer she's a breast cancer survivor and my dad unfortunately passed away with cancer uh, let's see nine years ago he passed away the day after Christmas which still is hard to go through it and uh, it sucks and we have a good friend of the family that's going through breast cancer right now. So anyone that's going through breast cancer, my heart goes out to you. Thoughts and prayers. Please support the cause, regardless of what cancer it is. It affects everybody uh, one way or the other, whether it's family or friends or neighbors. Be kind to people because you don't know when the good Lord calls them. So you have that. So please donate your time and your love, which means the most to people that are going through this. Not just the individuals, but the families themselves. So we have that. So I will post the pictures right now. Here we go. Here are the Blackhawks wearing their purple jerseys, as well as showing it in this, where their, where their home uh, locker room is, which is pretty cool. So here we go. So as you can see, we have bears wearing orange and, purple, and the purple colors for the Blackhawks. As well as, I think the Bulls are supposed to wear a funky color for Halloween. Um, so you have that. And then also, uh, news about the Cubs. David Ross is the new general manager. What do I think about it? Um, I don't know. They could have kept Man Madden. Um, this is kind of like a... It's like having... I don't know. It's um, having like Patrick Manley as the Bears' new head coach. It's kind of that love, favorite player, retirement. You call him or make him the head coach for the team that he used to play with, that all the fans love. We'll see how this is going to go. Also, 14 years ago, yesterday, the Chicago White Sox won in 2005 the World Series. They beat the California now it's Los Angeles Angels four games to one um, that was a very good season unfortunately I was able to see 
in my lifetime, the Bears won a Super Bowl. Granted, I was only like four or five when they won. The Bulls won six championships, thanks to Michael Jordan. That the Cubs won, thanks to Joe Madden and all the players with that. The White Sox won, as well as the Black Hawks has won three Stanley Cups. And uh, I'm grateful for that. Also, the Chicago Fire won too. So, um, and also the Chicago Sky was a couple years ago the, N the WNBA championship and almost won. So it's kind of nice to see that. So we'll, we'll see what the Red Stars will do too. Chicago Wolves also won too. So you got to give out credit to that. So this is the wacky world of Chicago sports this whole week. Do I blame Trubisky? No, I don't blame Trubisky. Except that air interception and uh, what the heck is Brian Massey not protecting anybody? I could probably go and sack Trubisky. That was pretty bad awful. I don't want to use the Lord's name in vain, but it was pretty bad. Um, and, you know, Eddie Panera didn't kick the goal, field goals that we needed. We needed him for paying him to be the flipping kicker, to kick those field goals, to tie the game, and to win the game. Sometimes the game goes on the kicker. And this time, Eddie Panera is one for one. Okay? He won uh, week three, was it? Like week two against the Broncos. Yes, week two. And also, uh, he lost this game. And uh, the Bears did not help with the defense and the crappy play calls that um, Matt Nagy made. So I don't know what's going to happen. Are there going to be any trade? Is any trade beat there for the Bears? Are they going to trade any players to get more picks? I doubt it. I don't think Ryan Pace is going to be tra trading players away like the Miami Dolphins have. In fact, I'm watching the Dolphins game now. Dolphins are beating the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday Night Football. They're 0-6 at um, Heinz Field in, in uh, Pittsburgh. So that's kind of a shocker. And I can't stand Packer fans as much as I can't stand Dolphin fans. Coming here, living here in Florida, all you hear is the Dolphins went perfect in 72. And they beat the Bears in 85 on Monday Night. Well, guess what? Jim McMahon wasn't playing that game, okay? If Jim McMahon played that game... Bears would have won. No difference if Jay Cutler did not get injured with the Bears win against the Packers in the NFC Championship game in 2010. I probably think so, okay? So you have scenarios like this. Is the NFL caught in conspiracy theories? Are they caught in um, paying the other team to lose? Yeah. Come on, man. When the Bears almost beat the Patriots in 06, that was a game that they paid off the Bears to lose. No difference when the Bears lost against the freaking Packers once or twice. The NFC Championship game in 2013 too, in Week 17, okay? So that was not a catch, and freaking Adams picked up the ball and ran all the way. The refs got paid basically that. I don't want to hear any crap from anybody. It's a bunch of BS. I can't stand Aaron Rodgers. Everybody wants to go and like worship the guy. What are they doing? You know, uh, giving him jobs, if you get my point. This is ridiculous. Okay? We're sick of it. I'm sick of it as a fan. I'm sick of getting my butt kicked in by the Packers every freaking Thursday night or Monday night or Sunday night or Sunday the game of the week, football against the freaking Packers. What do we have to do? Get someone off the practice squad and pay him half a million dollars to take out Aaron Rodgers' knee, and, you know, knee season career ending injury? Please do that. We should create a GoFundMe page to do that. I'm so sick of Aaron freaking Rodgers. Especially I'm sick of Bill, uh, uh, Belichick and uh, Tom Brady. I mean, Tom Brady can make the milkman catch the ball and make him be a pro bowler freaking ridiculous okay so because of this i'm so sick of it okay and all the bears fans are sick of it too we're sick of the freaking packers we're sick of the freaking lions we're sick of the freaking vikings we're sick of the saints the saints all they have is drew Brees and the coach that cheated okay no difference as the patriots coach okay so you got two coaching co two bleh, two coaching coaches that cheated okay i can't even talk how frustrated I am. How frustrated I am that the Bears lost, okay? And it's just ridiculous as a Bears fan. It's no different as the Cubs lost. And they just fell apart. That's what I feel like the Bears are doing. They're falling apart. 
Let me know if you guys think about this the same way I'm thinking about this. Not all the blame can go on Mitch Trubisky, period, okay? No difference is all the blame can go on the Chicago Bulls. It falls on management. It falls on Paxson. It falls on the coach, okay? The Bulls management is a joke. No difference is the White Sox management is a joke. It's owned by Jerry Reinsdorf. He's a joke. He has a lot of money, and he's full of crap. Okay, no difference as McCaskies. They don't put their money where their mouth is. Okay, yeah, fine. Uh, Brian Pace trades two first round picks to get Khalil Mack. Of course, anybody would do that. The freaking Packers wanted to do that. Okay, so we got scenarios like that. But then you don't go and protect the freaking quarterback. Get uh, uh, Massey, who's like a freaking cow, doesn't do anything, it allows Trubisky to get sacked every freaking time. Okay. Now, do I blame Oliver and Tris Trubisky? No. Burton couldn't catch the damn pass if he tried. Adam Shaheen should be cut like like yesterday. Okay, the running backs are a joke. No, let's go and trade uh, um, Howard to the to the Eagles. And what did Howard do? Howard ran over the other team and had like 100 yards yesterday. And Alshon Jeffrey oh, yammed his mouth, but he still played pretty good too. What the heck? What do we have to do? Have someone else draft a quarterback for us? Okay, if I were the Chicago Bears, I would release Massey, I would release Long, and I would look to free agency to get a veteran tackle, right tackle, pay for a Pro Bowl tacker, tackle to protect Trubisky's blind spot, okay? No difference what the Bears did when they had Rex Grossman 12 years ago, 14 years ago, when they did that. They got the tight, the, the, uh, not tight end, but the uh, tackle. He was a white guy from Kansas City. They got him. Him and Reuben Brown, the two tackles, were for Grossman. What did the Bears do? They went to the Super Bowl, and then they mucked that. How much are you going to bet that was a fixed game? Okay? The Bears had the best defense, and the Indianapolis Colts had the worst running offense. Okay? You can't tell me that they wanted Peyton Manning to win a Super Bowl versus Rex Grossman, regardless of Brian Urlacher, okay? That was a fixed game too, okay? So don't cry to me and say, oh, they lost because of this. It's all fixed, the no fun league, okay? No difference with LeBron James, anywhere he goes, he goes to the playoffs. They didn't last year, okay? And Golden State Warriors, come on, man. They're not better than the Bulls yet. Yeah, they won one game more a couple years ago. They won, what was it, 73-9. and nine. What did they do? They lost. Okay, if, if Steph Curry is that good with Clay Thompson, they would have won all of their championships. Okay? So don't go there with me. Jordan's 6-for-6. Six six. Okay? Not even Bird is 6-for-6. Six six. Okay? Or... or Chamberlain or LeBron James or Magic Johnson. So don't tell me that Michael Jordan is not the GOAT. Guess what? He is. Michael Jordan changed sports. Not the United States, but worldwide. He made a, a, a lousy shoe company to a multi billion dollar, probably a trillion dollar company by now. He has his own brand. He made sneaker shoes cool to wear, okay? You can't tell me that Michael Jordan is not the GOAT. He is the GOAT. Michael Jordan is most well-known as much as Coca-Cola is to flip, geez, even, I know this is going to sound bad, he's well-known as perhaps close enough to even Jesus Christ, okay? Or Trump, I mean, not even Trump, I mean, Michael Jordan, everybody knows who Michael Jordan is, okay? So I don't want to bring religion, but, you know, like three people know about a couple things. It's Coke, all right, Michael Jordan, and the Bible with Jesus Christ and everybody in it, okay? Now, I'm not exaggerating. I'm telling the truth here. So you got, like, Michael Jordan, everybody can recognize who he is. Everybody knows what the Air Jordan symbol is, as much as the Nike symbol is. Everybody knows what Coca-Cola is. Okay, everybody knows who is, oh, who are 
in the Bible, okay? So don't tell me that Michael Jordan is not the GOAT, okay? He is the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time, probably. The best player in sports, period, okay? You don't see uh, Tom Brady selling his Tom Brady shoes or Tiger Woods selling his own brand billions of dollars every year worldwide. It might be in a billion, but it's not in the billions like Air Jordan is, okay? And, you know, did the math. Michael Jordan might not be a good owner or general manager, but he's a very wealthy man. So there's that, you know. So will the Bulls ever win a championship? I don't know. Uh, at least in my lifetime, perhaps. So I want to know what you guys think. Who are the bottom to the top in the pro leagues in Chicago? So I'm going to go by this. Bottom are the White Sox. Fire, White Sox. Then I would put um, the Bulls. Then I would put the Cubs. And I would put the Blackhawks. And I would even put the Bears as number one. Because the Bears have the best opportunity to win a championship. And not win a championship, but uh, make it a dynasty. And they have a chance to still do it. They still have a chance to make the playoffs this year. For all you Mitch Trubisky haters burning the jerseys, ah, did a video on that that I saw on Instagram and it pirated. I didn't take it. Like I got a copyright from the freaking NFL, okay? I freaking recorded the game on my phone. I paid for DirecTV NFL ticket, okay? You can't tell me that's not a copyright. Now, I get it. They have the rights. And because of that, if you make money, uh, you know, YouTube, I get that point. But what's what's the problem with such thing as shared rent of you? NFL's richer than any of you and I put together. So I think YouTube should change that rule. That's my opinion. I understand it's not YouTube's fault. It's NFL's fault. They're the one who's even bigger than YouTube. So I understand that part. But the part is I can even freaking record it for one second showing my reaction to Eddie Panera missing a field goal. And I get this copyright email message. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. I understand that. I surely do. But the most frustrating part as a fan is why can't they do a rent? Like I said, a revenue, shared revenue between you, the YouTube creator, as a sports channel, and whoever owns the rights to that video. And you're paying for freaking cable or satellite. You should be hate should be shared no difference is shared revenues for songs or whatever else okay on my other channel which is Brian of the archives that happened with that I got a shared revenue with a song I happened to record it I was there seeing a band play and it was shared revenue I let the video go because I didn't get in trouble it's not a strike it's a copyright shared revenue like then I felt do the same come on work with us Work with YouTube, work with your fan. I've been a Chicago Bears fan my whole entire life. Come on, guys. Do, do it. Do it right. Okay? For those who want more exciting videos like this, like and subscribe. Subscribe to my videos. Help me to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours. I like to have this channel monetized. You want to check my other main channel? It's called Brandon the Archives. I will post it below after this. Suggested videos and playlists and channels. I will put it before. It's called Brandon the Archives. I'm about to hit 4,000 subs on it. Perhaps this week and I will hit 4K subs. So look. I will do a grand prize of my main channel, which is Brandon the Archivist. Okay? Sub. Subscribe to both of my channels, you guys. Help me out. You all Chicagoans. I'm from Chicago, grew up in Arlington Heights, moved down to Florida. Support me. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll do pretty cool videos. I'll probably go to Chicago if you want me to. I'll go to a game. Bears game is expensive, but I'll go to a White Sox game or a Cubs game or Bulls games. They're so bad. Tickets are cheap. It's like 20 bucks, 30 bucks to get in. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it, okay? I can get on the plane. It's pretty easy, okay? So uh, subscribe to my channel. To both of my channels, Brandon the Archivist and Chicago Sports Vlogs. 
I really appreciate it. Help me to get to 10,000 on this channel and 10,000 on my main channel. I'll post it below. Hopefully everyone's doing good in Chicago. Have your Italian beef at Portillo's, wherever you like it. And I'll uh, catch you guys later. Bear down. And don't give Trubisky a hard time, man. Pray for the guy. We need his help. All we can do is just live with it, okay? Bear down, Chicago.